Collecting dust at the workbench is important. Since a workbench serves a multitude of purposes, it's best to have a dust collection set up if possible. Portable tools, like finish sanders, can throw ultrafine particles into the air and all over the shop. The easiest way to add dust collection to a finish sander is to connect it to a shop vac or a dust extractor. There are several problems using a shop vac for dust collection. The first problem is that the hose size is too large to connect to a finish sander. Plus, the hose is often just a little short and too stiff. The dust hose collection kit solves this problem easily. The kit provides one 12-foot length of flexible hose. It also includes connectors for the most popular dust port sizes on sanders and other portable tools. Now you have the extra length and the correct connections for most of your portable tools. The second problem is that the hose can catch on the edge of the bench while sanding, making it difficult to freely move the sander around your workpiece. A simple wooden hook installed above the workbench allows the hose to float above. Now the hose is out of the way, which allows a lot more movement for the sander and it no longer catches on the edge of the bench. You can even run a power cord through the same hook. Velcro ties can tidy up the whole system if you like. This custom hook is made out of 3 quarter inch Baltic birch and can cradle up to a 2 and a half inch diameter hose. To make the hook, we found it was easiest to make a template first with a hook pattern. Using spray adhesive, apply the pattern to a quarter inch hardboard blank. Cut the hook to shape on a scroll saw or band saw. Sand the hook shape smooth. Drill a 1 16th guide hole in the template. Now apply the template to a 3 quarter inch Baltic birch blank using double sided tape. Rough cut the plywood hook to shape about 1 8 inch oversized. Now, with a flush trim router bit and a router table, carefully trim the hook to finish size. Then drill a 1 16th inch hole into the plywood as a center mark for the hole. Remove the template and drill a 5 8 inch diameter hole using the drill press. Now, route a quarter inch roundover around all the edges of the hook. For safety reasons, you can apply double sided tape to a helper block to help hold the part while routing. Now you can install the hook above the workbench. Locate a floor joist above your bench, drill a pilot hole and install a 5 16 inch eye screw. Then tie a short piece of line to both the eye screw and the hook. We recommend that you hang it about 6 inches above your head.
For larger work surfaces and other tools in your shop, you can install a traveling hook system. The traveling hook uses two eye screws with a length of line between them. Before attaching the line, add a small block or pulley in between. Make sure the line is snug and taut. The hook is then attached to the block with a short piece of line. Now the hook can travel back and forth as you sand. You can also add extra hooks on the ends, which offer additional hose support. The Woodsmith Store has assembled an all-in-one kit that includes both the dust collection hose kit along with the hooks. Our kit includes two paper patterns for the hook, two one-quarter inch hardboard blanks for the template, four three-quarter inch Baltic birch blanks for the hooks, one Rockler 12-foot dust collection hose kit and a two-page plan that shows the details and a hardware list for the single hook system and the traveling hook system. All this in one convenient kit, only from the Woodsmith Store.